Have you ever had a vision come to you and acted upon it to see it through? You know, like if you build it, they will come? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> That's just what one 85-year-old woman did with the help of the community and a painter's steady hand. Photojournalist Kenny Cruz takes us to the peaceful village of Pemberville. The whole thing is about the love of art, the love of Pemberville, and fun. It's just fun. It's tremendous. It's beautiful. It's it's a real bonus to the village. I mean, it's brought a lot of people to town, a lot of scuttlebutt, a lot of good, good, good words. It's wonderful. My children who grew up here but no longer live here and I were talking about what could be something for the village that would be nice. And I said I thought about painting the silos because of the beautiful project in Toledo. They jumped on that and encouraged me, so that's how I get started. We got together and um, talked to Dean because he was the crew chief on the project in Toledo. And uh, he is just above and beyond what we had hoped for. He is fantastic. I, I love public art. I think that, you know, the more public art we can start to um, generate around our communities, the more society is just going to be happy with themselves. The, the biggest thing about that project was um, that, that I wanted to see if I can accomplish, and I did, was the, uh, the bend in the 90 in the corner. When humans look at that thing, and, and from the view of traffic, and from the, where the crossroads meet, and you look up, that corner disappears. Um, and that was a goal for me, is can I make this corner feel like it's completely muted? The depth of it was what gives it a lot of success too. That's where, that's where, as an artist, you can hang your hat high and say, yeah, I did that. The way his mind must work is completely different to me. He would make a, a real light sketch here or there, and then boom, it came to life. It was pretty cool how his mind works and how his artistic talent shine. It's fabulous. And I love the way Dean wrapped the picture right around. It's amazing. We wanted to make sure we had a flag. We're a very patriotic community. And the eagle, of course, is, we're the Eastwood Eagles. And we have eagles nests here on the Portage River. And um, the other was the barn and the cows that it's a farming community and we wanted to be on that and the fork in the river was also important to us so we had a lot of components that we wanted. You know she called me about a year ago she said hey come on over I'll give you some I'll make you some breakfast or some some sweet rolls she's a great cook and she said I got an idea and I thought it was something completely different she shared this vision with me and I said oh Roberta that's gonna cost a ton of money you know it's gonna be hard. I needed to raise funds for it. Carol Bailey, uh, the mayor, put together a website for us and she and Pat Rollins both do Facebook. I don't, but I wrote posts and they posted those. I sent out about 1,600 letters to the community and uh, little by little uh, we got the funds in. The feed mill is a very obvious uh, big structure here in town and uh, it's in a nice spot as long as the traffic uh, is, is safe. I could see the skepticism that this 85-year-old lady was actually going to make this project work, but, but they uh, were supportive all the way and that was helpful. I was in the uh, Beaker's General Store shopping and uh, a man came in, he had come in on his motorcycle and he said, uh, I just came to town on purpose to see the mural. Somebody told me to come and see it and it's beautiful. It is beautiful, isn't I, it? I appreciate art, mm -hmm. a painting. I can't wrap my head around right. physically the scaffolding and, and the, the labor required to, like, for example, a flower petal is maybe like five feet long. Huge. So yeah. to keep in your head how that is all mapped out, I, I have no idea. I have no idea either, but he's very good at it, and it's beautiful. And it's really, I think, something to, to maybe go out and take a little drive, yeah. pay a little visit. And inspired by the silos along the yeah. river there on just, the east side. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Yeah, we'll be right back.